Hi everyone, so today I will show you how to create this effect. So this cloth simulation with, as you can see, a lot of detail on the fabric and the light on the side to make the cloth look beautiful. Okay, let's go. First, create a plane, increase subdivision, and create a type for setup. If you don't have Typeflow, you can download it for free. Open Editor, put the window on the side, OK. Um, select both objects and pick your plane. Now, as you can see, we have a plane in Typeflow, we don't need the original plane. We can add a cloth bind to convert our plane into a, a cloth. Cloth bind, deselect display, go back and enable CUDA collision solver, self collision, self thickness, and add shell to surface to add a little show. Okay. So now we need to bring a class to life. So we will create a force. If you already have a force like a wind, you can just select. But uh, for this tutorial, we will uh, we will only use the uh, type flow property. So select turbulence, turn to one, scale point one. And another turbulence for small detail. Scale one, don't touch, and strength one. You just have to try by yourself the other setting and see how the clothes react. Okay? Not bad. You can go back into the bind. And we can play with the binding stiffness property. Uh, to make the cloth look uh, less uh, less stiff, decrease the shear, stretch. Okay, and you can add a turbo smooth to smooth the the cloth. Okay. So now we have our simulation, but it's too fast, I think. Go back in Typeflow, go to Retimer, enable simulation Retimer by speed, and uh, maybe 50. Okay, now the simulation slow down. It's way better. It will be it will be better, I think, for the final render. Okay. So we have our simulations, but uh, the simulation is not very detailed. So to add detail, you can just go back into your original plane and increase the subdivisions 100. And as you can see, the clause is already better. What you can do, go back to your plane and, uh, oh, plane and add a tisselate. The tisselate will uh, add more subdivision in your original mesh, but you have to uh, to wait a little time because it takes more time to calculate. So wait. Okay. So now we have a new simulation with a lot of detail, as you can see. Okay. Um, as you can see, the simulations become interesting over time. Not at the beginning, but over time, so you have to calculate a lot of frame. But for this tutorial, I will not wait 200 frame, so it will be enough with a uh, 70 frame for the moment. Okay, so now what we need to do is to export. Mm, select alambic mesh, output, alambic 
tree. Okay, and uh, generate one seventy frame it will be good. So now you just have to wait. Okay, so the alambic export is done. Why use export? Because this will preserve your RAM and you will be able to navigate more easily in the timeline. Okay, so just deselect all. Just have to import and merge the alambic. Uh, deselect normal. Okay, we have our simulation. I will just change the mode to performance to see my mesh. Okay, good. Okay, and now it's time to bring this simulation to life. So, go back, shift F for the aspect ratio, create a V-Ray camera. I use V-Ray, but if you use a um, Octane or Redshift in the same state, same way. Okay. What I can do is uh, on my mesh is to add Turbo Smooth. And I can add a Relax. Relax. And the Relax under the Turbo Smooth. You can see a change. Turbo smooth and relax together will add more detail but with a smooth look. Okay, with the alambic you can easily rotate your mesh and now you just have to choose an interesting angle. So now activate IPR, but of course we see nothing because no light. So we create a light here. Rotate the light. Okay, go back to camera and decrease the F number. Yeah, not bad. It looks good. Yeah. What you can do is add depth of field to have a focus. So, depth of field, focus distance, and choose the focus you want. Mm, maybe here, and really focused here, and wait. I think I can um, just Increase and increase here. Okay. Okay, so now the focus is ready here and the background is blurry. To finish, what you can do is apply a texture to your cloth. I use this plugin, but you can uh, use the V-Ray material library or download a fabric texture on Google. Okay, fabric. Why not uh, blue and... Uh... Okay, it's good, I think. Okay, it looks good in my opinion. Now, you just have to select uh, the frame you want and uh, make a render and uh, maybe two things. Uh, don't forget to play with the type properties. Try by yourself and uh, increase the subdivision of your plane if you want a really detailed uh, close effect. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. And uh, if you liked, and I hope so, uh, don't forget to leave a comment and a thumb up. It will be really cool. So take care and see you soon.